in the quiet town of Southport, a tragedy unfolded that shook the very foundations of the community and sent ripples of fear, grief, and anger across the entire United Kingdom. What began as an unthinkable act of violence against innocent children quickly morphed into a larger and more troubling narrative, one that has revealed the deep fissures in our society and tested the resilience of our collective values. The horror of the event was compounded by the spread of misinformation, which not only obscured the truth, but also fueled a resurgence of racism and Islamophobia. As we grapple with the aftermath of this tragedy, it is crucial to understand the forces that have turned a moment of collective mourning into a catalyst for division, and to reflect on the impact this will have on our nation's future. The Southport incident, where three children were brutally killed in a stabbing at a dance class, is an event that no community can easily recover from. The attack, carried out by a young man with a troubled past, was devastating enough in its immediate consequences. However, what followed in the days after the attack was equally, if not more, disturbing. As news of the incident spread, so did a wave of misinformation on social media, with false narratives about the attacker's identity and motives circulating widely. These rumors falsely claimed that the attacker was an immigrant and that his actions were motivated by extremist beliefs, despite there being no evidence to support such claims. The rapid spread of these falsehoods was not merely a case of misguided speculation. It was a deliberate effort by certain groups to exploit the tragedy for their own ends. The intentions behind the spread of misinformation were clear. Far-right and nationalist groups saw an opportunity to stoke fear and division by framing the attack as part of a broader narrative of immigration-related crime and Islamic extremism. By doing so, they aimed to reinforce existing prejudices and rally support for their anti-immigration agenda. This strategy is not new. It has been employed time and again by those who seek to gain political leverage by exploiting public fears. In this case, the false information was used to incite anger and resentment, particularly against Muslim and immigrant communities who were falsely implicated in the tragedy. The goal was not just to misinform, but to provoke a reaction, to turn grief into anger, and to channel that anger into support for policies that would further marginalize these communities. As a result, what began as a local tragedy quickly took on national significance as the misinformation led to a surge in racist and Islamophobic incidents across the country. In Southport itself, tensions boiled over into violence, with a local mosque being attacked by a mob who had been incited by the false narratives circulating online. This was not an isolated incident. Similar acts of aggression and hostility were reported in other parts of the UK as well. The ease with which misinformation was able to ignite such a widespread and destructive response speaks to the deep-seated fears and anxieties that exist within our society, fears that have been exacerbated by years of political rhetoric and media coverage that often portrays immigrants and Muslims as a threat. The turn to racism and Islamophobia in the aftermath of the Southport incident is a tragic reflection of these underlying tensions. It reveals how fragile our social cohesion is and how easily it can be undermined by those who seek to exploit our fears for their own gain. The fact that so many people were willing to believe and act on false information is a testament to the pervasive mistrust and suspicion that has taken root in our society. This mistrust is not just directed at immigrants and Muslims, but at the very idea of a multicultural and inclusive society. The reaction to the Southport incident has shown how easily this ideal can be undermined when we allow fear and prejudice to guide our actions. It is important to recognize that the spread of misinformation and the resulting surge in racism and Islamophobia were not merely spontaneous reactions to the tragedy. They were part of a deliberate strategy by certain groups to manipulate public opinion and advance their own political agenda. By framing the Southport incident as an immigration issue, these groups sought to divert attention from the real causes of the tragedy and to use it as a tool to further their anti-immigration and anti-Muslim policies.
This strategy is not only cynical and opportunistic, but it is also deeply harmful. It exacerbates existing divisions, fuels resentment and hatred, and ultimately makes it more difficult for us to come together as a society to address the underlying issues that give rise to such tragedies in the first place. One of the most pernicious aspects of the misinformation spread after the Southport incident was the narrative that immigrants are stealing jobs from locals. This claim has been a staple of anti-immigration rhetoric for decades, despite being largely unsupported by economic evidence. In reality, immigrants contribute significantly to the UK economy, often filling jobs in sectors where there are labor shortages, such as health care, education, and agriculture. The idea that immigrants are taking jobs away from locals is a convenient scapegoat for more complex economic problems, such as automation, globalization, and the decline of certain industries. By focusing on immigrants as the source of these problems, those who spread this narrative are diverting attention from the structural issues that need to be addressed to create more job opportunities for everyone. The impact of the Southport incident and the subsequent unrest will be felt for years to come. For immigrants and minority communities, the rise in racism and Islamophobia is likely to lead to increased feelings of insecurity and alienation. Many will fear that they are being unfairly targeted and blamed for problems that are beyond their control. This could lead to further marginalization and exclusion, making it more difficult for these communities to integrate and contribute to society. For the wider British public, the incident has highlighted the dangers of allowing fear and prejudice to dictate our actions. It has shown how easily our values of tolerance and inclusivity can be undermined when we succumb to the forces of division and exclusion. Economically, the unrest could have serious consequences. The negative portrayal of immigrants could lead to tighter immigration controls, which would harm sectors of the economy that rely on immigrant labor. This could result in labor shortages, particularly in industries such as health care, where immigrants make up a significant proportion of the workforce. Additionally, the unrest could deter foreign investment and tourism, both of which are important to the UK economy. If the UK is seen as a country that is hostile to immigrants and minorities, it could lose its reputation as a welcoming and inclusive place, which would have long-term consequences for its economic prospects. Ultimately, the Southport incident and the unrest that followed have forced us to confront some uncomfortable truths about our society. They have shown us that the values of tolerance, inclusivity, and respect for diversity that we claim to uphold are not as secure as we might have thought. They have revealed the deep divisions and mistrust that exist within our society and have highlighted the need for a renewed commitment to these values. If we are to prevent such tragedies from happening in the future, we must address the underlying causes of these divisions and work to build a society that is truly inclusive and just for all. As we move forward from this tragedy, we must not allow the forces of fear and division to define our future. Instead, we must come together as a nation to reaffirm our commitment to the values that make us strong. We must stand against racism and Islamophobia in all its forms and work to create a society where everyone is valued and respected, regardless of their background. The Southport incident was a moment of profound grief and loss, but it can also be a moment of reflection and renewal. By confronting the challenges it has revealed, we can emerge stronger and more united, with a deeper understanding of what it means to be a truly inclusive and just society.